Well, we're back with Midcap Microscope, and this time around, we focus on MSTC. The company has been evolving from a metal trading company to an e-commerce company. Now, the key reasons that the stock came on our radar should come up for you on the screen. It has a good balance sheet. The stock has corrected 35% from the top, but we need to add that it's owned by the government of India. Well, it boasts of cash balance of roughly around 750 crores. Now, that's nearly around 40% of its current market capitalization. In terms of financials, the consolidated financials are of lower importance. But the greater focus is on the breakup. So let's get straight to that then. MSTC, they have been scaling down the trading revenues. Now that has many challenges. And by FY22, bulk of those receivables of this business should get liquidated. Next up is the e-commerce business. That's the one that the street is betting big on. And scaling up of this business from revenues of around 200 crores, that's going to be vital for the stock. A large portion of the e-commerce business comes in from the steel sector and as we know that could get a leg off because of improved steel prices as well as improved demand. Now that will have a positive impact on scrap auctions. Finally, the scrap recovery business. That's been more or less the sturdy business over the last few years. But the big trigger comes in the sense that there's a divestment of FSNL. That's Ferro Scrap Nigam Limited. Now the business did an EBIT of around 17 crores in the first quarter of this year. In the entire of last year, they did close to around 32 crores. So close to around half of what they did in the last year, they've already achieved in the first quarter itself. The street believes it could get a valuation of nearly around 300 crores odd. Now, by the look of things, there are various themes that are playing out and MSTC can get some prospective business coming in from the long-awaited scrappage policy. They already have a JV with Mahindra Group, which functions under the brand name Cero. And they have been talking about setting up more than 25 automotive recycling units by 2025. Additionally, the company could get some lumpy business opportunities in the form of the Spectrum auctions, the liquor license auctions, as well as online bidding of sand operations in Andhra Pradesh. Now, the government of India, well, they're the promoter entity. And going by the June 2021 uh, shareholding pattern, both LIC and individual investor Mukul Agarwal, they hold large chunks, but they have lightened their positions in the past quarter. That's why we're comparing it with March 2021. Now, if MSTC can become a pure and a core B2B e-commerce player, then there's reason that it could be ripe for a potential re-rating. For India, Mart, now going by the numbers that we've taken on the screen, we've taken Motilal's estimates. They are factoring in revenues of closure 990 crores from around sub-700 crores in the past fiscal. While for MSTC, we are factoring in maybe a moderate 10% growth. Even on the net profit front, when Motilal is assuming that India Mart could deliver 450 crores on, they delivered around less than 300 crores in the past fiscal. Now for MSTC, we are assuming that they have fixed costs of around 100 crores. They could possibly deliver around 120 crores of net profit. Additionally, if you strip off the cash in the books and also the divestment proceeds that they could receive from FSNL, well, then the core business could be looking very, very attractive. Finally, the key trigger should come up for you on the screen. The big risk is some of these triggers not playing out as planned. The shift to e-commerce remains the key focus from a business perspective though, and that's what will be the big trigger for the stock.